Yo, YouTube, what is going on? Welcome to the first edition of the Thailand vlog. So I'm in my house, ready to go. I have my bags at the ready, my hand luggage here, my little neck, whatever thing you call that. I have my big bag ready to go as well. And yeah, I'm just waiting on Rachel. We're going to the airport now. We actually have two flights. So Dublin uh, to Dubai, that's like seven hours or so. We have a two hour layover in Dubai. And then it's on to Bangkok, that's another seven hours. And we arrive in Bangkok at like, I think it's early midday, like 12 o'clock. So what I'm hoping, right, is that I sleep a good bit of the second flight. So it's kind of setting me up for a full day in Bangkok. I don't know though, it never goes that way. I'm not like good at all at sleeping on planes. And Rachel is actually really good. Rachel can sleep anywhere. So yeah, it's just so frustrating. I'm just probably gonna watch like a load of movies. I don't know, I don't know. I'm rounding on now. Uh, but yeah, sit back, relax, enjoy the video. And let's do it. Flight number two, about to go down. We have a space on Yay! Yo, what is going on? We have finally made it to Bangkok. So it is the following day. Yesterday we uh, basically just got in, had a bit of a sleep. I was so tired, I barely stepped on the plane at all. Um, and then we went down for like food and drinks and stuff. To be honest, like, I'm not feeling too fresh. Uh, at the moment, it's like we slept in. What time is it? It's like half one now, and we're only kind of getting going. We just got food, uh, but yeah, we're gonna make the most of the rest of the day. There's like loads of sights to see. We're only basically here for one day, so we need to make the most of it. Uh, and yeah, let's do it. All right, so we're in the Grand Palace now. It is so warm. Oh my god, can you see the sweat on my forehead? Rachel is filling up with water, but uh, look at this place. It's actually crazy. Everywhere you look, it's just like, wow, 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 wow. Look, I'll show you. Goals. Okay, Grand Palace ticked off the bucket list. We're going to uh, the temple of the reclining Buddha now. I think this is the place with the big massive Buddha that everyone gets a picture with. So I wanna get a picture with it as well. We bought, um, see in the temples, right? You can't like show your shoulders or your legs or anything uh, out of a sign of respect. So we had to like buy things to cover us up. Here, Rach, we all there. Boom. Steiner. The main man himself, chilling out, taking it easy. It's actually so hard to get a taxi here. When we came, we were warned uh, like to always go by the meter uh, because they basically like try and rip you off. We were in one there and uh, we told them where we were going. We're going to the MBK shopping center. It's like the biggest one here. And he was like, oh no, no, traffic, traffic. And he was trying to get us to like pay some ridiculous price. And we were like, nah. We're going with a meter and he literally just uh, threw us out. I think Rachel has one actually. Meter? Yeah. yeah. <coughs> Thank you. We're here. So big. I really like that one. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's okay. real nice. Thank you. Thank you. All right, so we are here. This place is like insane. It's so big. There's like five floors or something like that of just 
this. Got some cheeky bits as well. Rachel is over here doing some haggling. Mm. New passport, Rich? Yeah, do you think that would be cool? And then like a little... Yeah, that's daddy. Okay, we're just on our way back to the hotel. And like when we went into the shopping center, it was like sunny. I was sweating my ass off and looking at now. Proper lash out of heaven. So weird. Yeah, we've got like no jacket or anything. Wow. We're in one of them mad taxis and I am, yeah, tuk tuks. Holy shit. <laughs> I am so fucking scared right now. I literally might fall out. I'll show you. Oh my god. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Alright, so we survived. Thank god. It was actually so scary. Like, when the tuk tuk turned to the right. Like, I was literally afraid that I was going to fall out of the thing, honestly. But anyway, I want to give you a quick room tour. They cleaned it, thank God. Last night, oh, it was so, it was such a messy night. <laughs> um, so yeah, our room was a mess, but it's all clean now. Show you the view. Oh, wow, it's so cool that night. Pretty cool. Show you the bathroom. <laughs> Big walk and shower. The pressure is shit though. But yeah, it's pretty nice. It's called the Nari or Nari or I don't know. Nari Hotel? Is it? I'd say Nari. Nari. I think it's pronounced differently. But yeah, it's good. I'm just gonna get some food. I uh, have like a really early flight tomorrow, so I'm gonna take it easy tonight. Eat in the hotel, which is actually really nice. The lobby is sweet. And then, yeah, go upstairs and just try and get a few hours sleep. Boom, dinner is served. So we got uh, some barbecue chicken pizza and then a healthy option as well. It's kind of what we always do. We always like share and we get like one thing that we really like, like the pizza and then one sensible choice, like the sea bass. Is there water gone? No, it's over there. So we are leaving. Uh, Bangkok today it actually worked out we got it like completely wrong we thought we had two full days here uh, but we literally forgot um, or we didn't account for the day that you lose a traveling so yeah we only ended up having one full day which is yesterday but it's alright because we're gonna be back uh, at the very end of our journey we're back here for a few days so whatever we didn't get done this time um, we're just gonna do the next time but yeah Bangkok as a whole like me and Rachel were literally just saying that we loved it like I don't know Whenever we said to people we were going to Bangkok, they always were like, ah, it's sleazy. And nobody seemed to enjoy it, but we actually really did. I know we only spent like a day here, but everything was just so good. Like Koh San Road, uh, which was the, the nightlife place, like, that was unreal. Uh, the temples were class. The shopping center was cool as well. So I literally can only say good things. What do you think, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, like we both like highly agree. Like if you were to come all the way to Thailand, and not go to Bangkok, I think that would be like such a shame, you know? But yeah, the plan now, we're going to the airport, we are flying to an island called Krabi, um, and then we have to get a boat uh, over to the island that we're staying on, which is Kofifi. All right, so we just boarded the boat to Fifi. It takes like two hours in total, so not too bad. It costs like 900 baht for two tickets, so that's like, 25 euro ish so 1250 each not too bad at all like really cheap and these are the views all right so we've arrived in fifi i'll show you the view oh, from our room the weather like I, I knew coming over here that it was rainy season and that we would like definitely be getting some showers but I literally did not expect this like today it is just lashed all day like we were absolutely soaked on the boat because there was no seats downstairs so we had to sit like on top 
Uh, so we were literally not covered at all. So yeah, since it's like absolutely lashing, we're just gonna go find a gym and work out. Like there's no point in wandering around. Uh, like we'll just get soaked. So yeah, we're gonna get our first session of the holiday in. And that will free up time over the next few days to like give us a chance to explore. Hopefully it's not like this. Uh, but I don't think it will be. I'm actually not going to record this session either. I will show you uh, my workout in my next video and I'll actually talk a little bit about, you know, my split and how I plan on staying on track with my fitness and my gains throughout uh, my trip. Yo, yo, weather is a bit better today, thank God. It's still meant to like rain a little bit, but sure, we're going to make the most of it anyway. We just bought tickets uh, to go to a place called Koh Lanta. It's like this exotic island uh, we've seen in YouTube vlogs, like loads of YouTube vlogs. We really want to do it, so we're absolutely buzzing. The nightlife here is actually mental. Like we were out last night and there's like loads of clubs along the beach and there's like these massive skipping ropes that people jump in and get free shots. Uh, what else is there? There's like limbo and just like loads of these mad games loads of drink cheap drink as well like a bucket a massive bucket Which is like the size of like I don't know maybe like three cocktails. It's like seven euro like it's just a steal It's unbelievable No, thank you. No, thanks. Okay, so you wouldn't believe what just happened, right? God, I don't even know where to start. So we, we got on the boat, we sat down and all, and these like guys were trying to sell us like a stay in Koh Lanta, the place we were going. Like they were trying to sell us a hotel for the night or a hostel or whatever. And we were like, no, no, we're only doing uh, the day trip. They were like, no, no, no day trip, no boat coming back. And we were like, what? They were like, no, no, it, no, no coming back. So we were on the boat, it was literally like pulling off and we were like, oh my God, we need to get off the boat. Um, so we literally had to leg, like leg it off the boat. It was basically moving. And yeah, it was such a rush. We literally wasted like, how much money was that, Rachel? Huh? 20 euro, so it's not too bad. A bit raging though, because they don't do like day trips to Koh Lanta. So we just got it completely wrong. Such a rash decision. And yeah, we're a bit raging. So we're just gonna get food now anyway. Just draw a line under it, doesn't matter. And find something to do for the day. Yeah. Thank you. The stairs up to our room have calories on them. Lol. All right, so we're going on a jungle trek. It's gonna be unreal. It goes from like two to eight, takes up around the viewpoints, through the jungle, obviously. Um, oh, hello, Rosie. Rosie. Yeah, that's a fat Rosie. And yeah, that's the plan. So we came home, got changed into more suitable attire, pair of runners. So let's do it. Just saying to Rachel how lucky we were that them um, guys like tried to sell us a stay in a hotel or a hostel or a hotel or a hostel um, in Koh Lanta. Like if they didn't, if they just weren't arsed, then we would have been like halfway to Koh Lanta. We probably would have been in Koh Lanta and not even known that we weren't getting home, stranded in Koh Lanta. Can I get some froyo to fuel our journey? Really? Is it nice though? Yeah. How you feeling? <laughs> it's a lot of stairs. Oh, a lot of stairs. Whew. Wow. Camera's getting wet. How cool is this though? It's one of the viewpoints in Fifi. Unbelievable. Putting on a slip. Alright, so it is the following day. Came back up to do the viewpoints again because it's sunny. And look at the difference the weather makes. Unbelievable. We had to like stop the tour because of the rain and wind. I honestly don't even know if they'll continue. It's like wild. We're like in the depths of the jungle now. Uh, 
This one. You know, it's like big potatoes and dough. You can cook in this one. In the jungle, you never can be hungry. If you have manioc, you can eat every day. All right, so we just finished trekking through the jungle. It was insane. And um, we're in this like small village now. Fifi. I think a lot of like locals kind of live around here. Like it's not touristy at all. And um, I think we're going like night trekking now. We got these light things. So yeah, it's gonna be interesting. It's like no webs, it's a um, mud spider. It can be a big one, but it's not a dangerous one. So if someone scary about snake or spider or something, stay at the middle of the group. We're just about to track back through the jungle. You ready? Had a big talk about snakes there. Me and Rachel were like, okay, what have we gotten ourselves into? Deadly, but fucking poisonous. It, it hurts as much. Yeah, it hurts. <laughs> oh. 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 So that body right there is screwed. Oh, okay. he too. Shit. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Another one. Oh, he got it already. I know, so wow. Wow. He just got. He just got a catch. <laughs> All right, so we are back from the jungle. We survived, just chilling out in our hotel. Um, eating some treats and yeah like that tour was literally amazing like um, it's weird because we've never heard of anyone like doing it we've never seen anyone doing it we just kind of stumbled across it today and I like wouldn't be surprised if it's like one of the highlights of our entire trip like it was that good it was so good um, and yeah I'm like so glad that we just did something today in general because I think it would have been kind of easy to do nothing today uh, just because like things were kind of going wrong like with the boat this morning the mix up uh, and just the weather in general being terrible but you know I think when you come this this far um, it'd be a shame to ride off days like that and things like are always gonna go wrong like whether it be with the weather uh, whether it be with transport with accommodation and you know I think it's important to you know prepare yourself like for them things like know in advance that things are gonna go wrong and that you're gonna have to adapt and not get annoyed about it not get frustrated and basically just get on with it so yeah I'm glad we did that today and it ended up like turning out really really well you know uh, so yeah, I'm gonna wrap the video up here. I hope you enjoyed my first of many Thailand vlogs in the next one uh, There's gonna be a workout and I'm gonna kind of go through how I plan on staying on track with my fitness Etc whilst I'm over here uh, So yeah, thanks again for watching make sure you give the video a big thumbs up as well If you enjoyed it subscribe if you haven't already because as I said there are plenty more vlogs coming your way And I will see you in the next one